What's a wolf pack? What's good, wolf pack? What's a wolf pack? What's a wolf pack? What's a wolf pack? What's a wolf pack? I'm Dylan Brazier. I'm Dylan Brazier. I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. I'm Josiah Edwards. And I'm Josiah Edwards. I'm right here with your distance learning announcements. Wow, wolf pack. What a year it's been. Yeah, I can't believe how fast this year flew by. Now it's time for the last show. I know, right? So sad. Well, attention senior families. Here are the events happening this week. In-person graduation ceremonies, virtual graduation on YouTube, as well as diploma and senior packet distribution in front of the parking lot. See the newsletter for more info. Now let's get in today's day in history. On this day in history, U.S. Olympian Louis Zamperini's plane goes down in the Pacific. Born in 1917 to Italian immigrants, Zamperini grew up in Torrance, California, where he was frequently in trouble with the law. He channeled his energy into athletics and became a champion distance runner at the age of 19. He competed for the United States at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, Germany. He ran the 5,000 meter race and finished in eighth place. However, his fast final lap caught the attention of Adolf Hitler, who later asked to shake his hand. After the Olympics, he was a record setting standout on the University of Southern California track team. In the fall of 1941, Zamperini enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps and was eventually stationed in Hawaii. In May 1943, he served at the Bombardier on a B-24 that was searching for a missing plane when his own aircraft developed a mechanical problem and went down in the Pacific. Of the 11 people on board, only 26-year-old Zamperiti, along with pilot and tail gunner, survived the initial crash. The three men stayed alive in their small raft by drinking rainwater and eating the occasional seabirds and fish that they were able to catch, while also strafing from Japanese bombers and their ever-persistent threat of attack of sharks. On the 47th day in their raft, Zamperini and fellow survivor Russell Allen Phillips have drifted some 2,000 miles since the crash and were picked up by Japanese sailors. For more than two years, the two men were held in a series of prison camps and they were repeatedly beaten and starved. Zamperini went on to become an inspirational speaker and forgave his captors. Thanks for joining us on our last edition of This Day in History. Now back to the show. Well, Wolfpack, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for sticking with us and continuing to watch. It means a lot to us, and we wish you guys a fantastic summer. See you next year, Wolfpack.